In this short video, we're going to take a look at how to go from classroom to online as it concerns your delivery, how to deliver when you're online rather than in the classroom, because it is different. Now, how is it different? Well, I'm a musician, so I'm going to say that it's different because in this, you have to listen to the music because you want to use your voice as the big communicator because you don't have your body movement as much to communicate. So how do you do it? One of the things you do is you pay attention to your speech inflections. Now music, we call those the dynamics. That means the louds and the softs. And we also want to pay attention to our rate of speech. We have to speak maybe faster than we would when we're in front of people. Why? We need to keep their attention. Don't be like my Uncle Bob. He's a wonderful guy, but this is how he talked. Hello, Carla. It's nice to see you. Now, some of you speak slower and have less inflections, and some of you speak faster and have more inflections. But when you're online, if you speak slowly without many inflections, you have to push yourself toward more inflections and faster speech so you can keep their attention. Your pauses, it's fine to pause, but be sure you mean it there because pauses are very important and always sound passionate about your subject. Don't you just love it when somebody starts out even live or online and says, We've got a lot to cover today. And I'm, I just want to go, well, and just take a sheet and cover it all up because I don't want to be here. So avoid saying things like that to start. In a different segment, I talk about how to launch so you have a hook, so you get their attention. It's just like a pop tune. So look at that segment too. And finally, quit talking. Now, that's a dumb thing to say, you think, because you're online, you got to talk a lot, but you don't. You can have them doing things. In another segment, I show you all the different ways that you can engage your audience. So engagement in each segment, if you're going to do three hours, you want to do 45-minute segments with 15 off. And you want to engage your audience every three to five minutes. That means you're going to have to change a lot of the things you do live when you go online. So your total engagements per segment should be nine plus. Now you're going to say, well, that's a lot. Yes, and that's what it takes to hold people's attention online. And you and I both know it because you and I both get bored when we have to go online and do some Zoom thing or uh, or a webinar, and you're just like, oh, please, quit talking. So now, what's the last thing you have to do? Is practice, practice, practice. That's my sister in the front, Laura, and me in the back, Carla, and this is our first recital. She's four and I'm six. And those are those lovely dresses that our mom made for us for the recital. And we knew even then that we had to practice. We couldn't wing it. So what do you practice? Well, especially you practice the beginning and the end because they're the most important. And you get those right and you can pretty much do what you want in the middle and it's going to go okay. But practice. Don't leave it to chance. Make your beginning flawless. Get their attention Get them into doing something from the very beginning and avoid those tired old phrases of we've got a lot to cover or I'm not going to get through all this or we have to go really fast. Don't do any of that. You're in charge of the pacing. If you do that, your beginning will be flawless and your ending will be heartfelt. And in between, you'll be teaching what you love. Finally, here's a little summary from classroom to online. It's showbiz. Keep them awake. First, with your voice inflections. Make it interesting to them. Record yourself. Find out how you sound to others. Engage nine times every 45 minutes. And as I said in another segment, I've shown you how to engage, and I've even give you, given you examples of that engagement. And finally... Practice your heart out, especially that beginning and the end. 
If you take these hints, you will have people loving your online courses and your online presentations, and they'll want more. Tell me how these things work for you.